Good morning guys, Theo here on Common Sense. Okay, so we're here at the tail end of a 60 hour fast. It's a little bit longer now, almost 62 hours. 7.30 in the morning, the sun is starting to rise above the mountains there. So we're heading down to the ocean for a morning swim. Get some morning sunlight and replenish on some electrolytes. It's an amazing thing. I discovered on the first fast I was doing here, like I knew already that you can take in water and electrolytes through the skin to some extent, but back in Sweden, the water isn't very salty. And so when I was on another fast, like 40 hours in, you know, that kind of around, you know, on, on that second day when uh, you can have a little dip, even if you, like me, are quite accustomed to the fasting, just went down in the ocean and I was like, ah, oh, I was so energized from it, you know. So we're gonna start like that. I have taken my morning cold shower today, as usual. Didn't film that today, you're just gonna have to take my word from it, <laughs> for it. But um, I, I always do that on Mondays, by the way, Instagram. That's the cold shower post, but I do it every day. So I prepared some food too. Yeah, I'm gonna head down for a swim, for electrolytes and just waking up a bit, uh, you know. The morning sunlight is of course always important to set the circadian clock. It's also very nice just nice you know things that are nice in nature they are good for you makes sense right <laughs> and now but then we're gonna head up actually break the fast with food we're gonna go to the gym and i'll talk you through more of the fast later when i'm heading to the gym but okay let's go for the swim ah there he is. What's up? This is how I usually do it. I go in over where there's sand because that's just nicer than the rocks. But then I go over here because when the sun just went up, just illuminates more here. It's easier to get a full body sun exposure here. So I will do some morning movement as you saw I did over there. I did before filming, I did hang there for a bit, you know, do some shoulder scapular stuff. And then I catch at least 10 minutes of sunlight, get my dose, tell my body, it's the morning, body. So uh, you know when <laughs> it's time to get sleepy tonight. That's actually one of the main reasons to get the morning sunlight. Set the circadian clock, thinking ahead. So it will actually help you sleep later. Okay, yeah, I'm quite mellow and chill, but that was refreshing. Go in for a few minutes. So, yeah, I'm gonna hang here for a few more and I'll see you when we actually break this fast. All right, guys, it's time to break the fast. A little over 62 hours this time. So before I went down, I prepared this. Might not look very exciting there, but it is to me. <laughs> it is like 1.25 deciliters of white rice, basmati rice, when uncooked and six egg whites and I cooked it in olive oil. I would have preferred butter. Turns out I didn't have any butter left. I had less of some things than I thought, I guess, <laughs> when you're fasting, not looking in the fridge, you know. Um, but yeah, but don't worry. Um, I'm not a, just an egg white kind of guy. We have the yolks separated here. They're just better raw, you know. Cooking the egg whites is the best. Eating the egg yolks raw is the best. Or optimal nutrition intake um bioavailability and such then we have a pear we have a carrot we have one glass of orange juice and one glass of blueberry cranberry and raspberry juice like the holy it's like the best berries made into one juice so without further ado i'm gonna start with a pear mm, it's been a tough one this fast i gotta say be looking forward to this Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. 
Okay, I'm gonna tell you the calories and such afterwards, but now I'm gonna put down the camera. Just enjoy this. All right, so we've had the first meal of the day. It's quite amazing. <laughs> you know, it's always incredible to think about, you know, being a coach, coaching people in this and talking to people both that follow online and in real life, you know, how many people that struggle with the food, uh, with the junk food addiction and that, you know, I, I just see no need for any of that. Like that was just all amazing. The pear, mm, the carrot, even the juices and just a, just a white rice with the cooked egg whites, raw egg yolks and some salt. It's like, mm, it's incredible and so nutritious and delicious. So that was around 1250 calories. Uh, 160 grams of carbs, 60 grams of protein, and 40 grams of fat. So now we're walking to the gym. I do that sometimes, you know, I will record a video on the way, maybe have a client call on the way or something like that. Sometimes I take a taxi, and soon when the weather is a bit better again, I'm gonna do more of my workouts at the beach with the rings. Like, I know it looks very nice, uh, it, it is very nice, but it isn't all that, it's like 17 degrees right now. So when I walk to the gym, I usually wear you know, a hoodie or something at first before I get my core temperature up. Uh, but today, <clears throat> especially, you know, when I refeed, look now, I'm calling this video, I think, like jacked guy raking 60 hour fast or something. Um, so, so don't necessarily think that what I do goes for you. It, it might, but you have to adjust the calories or something like that, the macros. But um, just know that I'm talking about what I do in this video, not necessarily what you should be doing. But on a day like this, I want to get back on track as soon as possible. Um, yeah, I want to replenish on glycogen in my muscles. And so I always start with it. I'm going to train upper body today. I'm going to talk more about the workout after the workout. But uh, I start with upper body because it's usually just easier to push harder coming off a fast uh, with the upper body rather than the legs. Um, but of course, I won't be fully refed uh, on a day, yeah, you, you know, you'd have to wait longer to actually be able to use more of the food you were eating. But by walking there, we're hoping to get some blood flow going, pump out the nutrients in the muscles quicker. And also because I want to be eating more today, high carb. Like I eat very, you know, similarly to how I would eat on a normal day. It's mainly that I push up the carbs a lot. But since we're gonna eat more, like over 4,000 calories probably today, you know, we don't want it to spill over into unnecessary fat gain. So then it doesn't hurt to get in some extra steps. So it's like five kilometers to the gym. Sometimes I take taxi both ways. Sometimes I'd walk one way. Today we're gonna walk both ways. So that's a good mile, like a European mile, not the dumb American mile. Um, but yeah, guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's something I wanted to add from before. So I went up there a few hours before, you know, the video started when I went down to the ocean. Uh, I've done these fasts, sort of like, you know, not just a snake juice fast or a dry fast, but somewhere in the middle. So I probably on the two days where I didn't eat anything now, I probably drank just like a liter of water in total. I of course swam in the ocean too, it's gonna make a little difference. Um, but basically that I go up, I have a glass of water with some electrolytes, sodium and potassium, and then I'll have a few espressos, and then in the evening I'll have another glass of electrolytes. So what I did today was before going down to the ocean there, because I was up from earlier, I start replenishing more on water and salts first. So I don't know exactly how much I drank, but you know, much more. And I had a cup of coffee before going down, and then I had one after the food. And now we're heading to the gym. All right, guys, we're closing in on the gym. And as you might know, if you have some experience with fasting and training, when you break a fast and go train, you haven't eaten for days and you go train just a couple of hours later, it's um, kind of hard to get a pump going. You basically, you have the same strength, at least at the start of the workout, but you don't have the same kind of oomph and stamina because you're, of course, just starting to load up on glycogen in the muscles. You don't, uh, yeah, they're not full at all yet. So we want to use all the help we can today. So I happen to have a few of these. Black Bull Pump, little pre-workout shot without caffeine. I've uh, 
you know, I've had my coffee already. But for the pump, we have citrulline, one of my favorite pump agents. We have glycerol, also good for a pump. And then we have beta alanine that I'm not really convinced is doing so much when you don't take it long term and just take it on a day. But it will make the face kind of itch. So <laughs> you can get some placebo from that. Let's see, what, what are the dosages? Yeah, it's 4,000 milligrams of citrulline. And um, that, that's really what I'm looking for the most in this one. Uh, 10,000 milligrams is the best dose. So I'm gonna have two of these and I get 8,000. It's still a pretty hefty dose, but okay, let's go. Okay. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, I, I like it actually. It tastes nice. It's sour, the citrulline is sour in and of itself. They flavor this somehow, so it kind of works well. Okay, we have another one. Yep. I bet this is fun to watch. Mm. Okay, so now we're gonna arrive to the gym with an itchy face and some, uh, some help from the citrulline to get a pump going. Let's go.
I'm done with um, what I had planned for my workout, but I unexpectedly ran into my bro Dimitris here. So I might go in and just do some pump stuff to finish off with him. But first I'm gonna, I brought the meal. It's um, another deciliter of rice. 125 grams of salmon, 200 grams of calamari. We can talk about the calories in a bit because now we're gonna eat. Join the Dimitri. Calamara. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's right there. I thought it was gonna be a big drop when I entered. I ran into Dimitris and he could give me a ride home and we could shoot the shit for a bit. I, um, yeah, I didn't walk home. As I said, I would earlier in the video, but now I'm just going to have to walk around a bit more. I'm going to go down to the beach, do some conclusionary words for the video here. But first, I'm just going to, since it's not going to be on video when I eat it, because I need to edit the video and such, just go through the two other meals, four meals today, about three hours apart, each of them. So the next meal, it's going to be 1.25 deciliter of uncooked rice again with about 350 grams of beef. I buy it from an online butcher here too. Very good. It's a very lean beef, this one. I'll have a carrot and an apple on the side. By the way, I did have a carrot and a pear on the side again with the meal you saw before, the calamari and the salmon. And okay. then for the last meal of the day, we have the famous solar shake. I prepared the shake kind of thing here. So it is... 100 grams of Greek yogurt. There's a deciliter of kefir like, that I put away now. There is that, you know, you saw the nice fruit shop I went into. Pick up all these great stuff, great quality nuts, fruits, and honey. This one from Kriti. So there's a tablespoon that I mix up with the Greek yogurt first and then pour, pour the kefir in. Go, <laughs> go around like that. We have um, macadamia nuts, para nuts, hazelnuts, walnuts. I'm gonna have about 50 grams of nuts in total and about 20 grams of cocoa flakes and we're gonna have some frozen raspberries and I will have shown the calories for everything here I know now as I'm speaking and we'll go through the total as I conclude this video. All right guys it got a little cloudier and since I've already gone for a swim today I decided to go on a walk up the mountain instead oh well you can't okay up there yeah I'm walking in kind of a valley right now I'm up to 11k steps. There's about 7k steps that Dimitris robbed me of with the car. <laughs> car ride. It's his fault. You know, I couldn't say no or anything. But now, so instead, let's get up to 20k steps or so walking up the mountain. Even better, some uphill walking. So we seem to have landed uh, at just under 4,300 calories. I said earlier we wanted to go a bit over 4,000, right? So we hit 270 grams of protein, 150 grams of fat, 450 grams of carbs. So that's great. Uh, it's good macros. You know, I don't want to go too, I'm not a fatophobe or anything, but uh, especially refeeding after a fast like this, it's high carb mainly. That the protein is quite high, it always is. You know, if you eat a lot of animal foods, it's for micronutrients too. And protein is just good. Like, of course, I don't need that much to build the muscle, but uh, it's satiating. It's the macronutrient that you're gonna burn the most energy digesting. So keeping it uh, quite high protein and carb, not so high fat, it's great for someone like me refeeding after fast. Funny thing is, you know, even eating so much and that, I'm gonna look leaner tomorrow. Like of course I'm technically the leanest today, but the muscles are all empty and tomorrow to be all pumped up and yeah I might have missed like I'm gonna have two kiwis with my last meal and I'm gonna I, I put two whey in there which I know I forgot to say uh, and that but I know the calories the macros I'm showing you all right so sorry if I, I have a carrot and some kind of fruit with every meal 
I just have juice with the first two meals, really. Um, so about the workout, you know, so I start with upper body, I'm gonna train lower body tomorrow, which is gonna be nicer with uh, more food in my system. Um, but that's why, because it's tougher, start with upper body. But what, I, what I'm looking for in an upper body workout, like in general, but especially now, it's just, I wanna, you know, after a fast, it's like, what do I do? just stimulate the body so that I can then go back on program you know so upper lower rest when I'm gonna do something on Sunday then I can go back to my program on Monday but so today you know um, one vertical pulling movement with the chin up there you know I felt like I did just didn't have too much to give today um, and I, I, I felt more energized towards the end of the workout funny enough but so I opted to just do some doubles on the um, weighted chin up and on the close grip inclined bench press uh, then just one kind of hypertrophy set double drop set you know so two different uh, and, and then you know i did the um, wide grip bent over row so it's very different uh, than the regular uh, one so i have a narrow grip and when you pull kind of thinking pulling your elbows back you pull high so you use way lower weight like um you know 30 40 percent lower weight a bit more upper back uh, then i threw in the vince gironda dips and tucked dips so this is an advanced one like don't do if you have shoulder issues like i did them tucked and with a you know it's an internally rotated position and very deep but i've worked myself there you know it can hurt in the wrist it can hurt in the shoulder uh, so the point of that was just i wanted after the two more heavy to have something where i do a little more it's still like compoundish. Uh, exercises but a little higher rep so instead of adding weight and doing some kind of more simple variant of a dip just did a complicated one so what happens with that one by the way like when you internally rotate the shoulder it's gonna hit the shoulder less it's gonna be much more chest uh, and you train the forearm in a very I can't even describe what happens but I strengthened my forearm in a very special way and then just to get in a little bit more traps and mid delt the upright row that I love just kept it simple i could have done this workout for an upper workout in like an actual program not as a filler workout or like get back on track workout but i would have gone a little more intense probably um what more what do i have to say you know like like this is it guys i eat more yeah i eat four meals today um i could on some days otherwise but i usually eat three meals you know, two to four meals is my go-to. It's kind of what I recommend for everyone. Um, you know, I you know the long fasts. Uh, I I prefer rather than having one meal a day or going very long on two meals a day or something. I prefer it that you you know work yourself up. To, you get fit, so you need to fuel your body a bit more often. But then you have the ability to do the longer fast every now and then then you don't have to be quite as rigid with the intermittent fasting window like mine today it's gonna be like 10 hours you know I just because I've followed the 16 8 strictly for so long you know that's kind of my mental like when I how do you say like utgångspunkt is in Swedish like where I start and then I kind of build around it uh, you know I could on a rest day just have two meals uh, like on a Sunday, I, I call them kind of fasting days. I just do less of everything I ever do on Sundays, you know, less phone, less caffeine, less nicotine, less food, blah, blah. So then I could just eat two meals, maybe four hours apart or something. Uh, on a day like this, refeed after fast, even add a meal and stretch it out a little bit. And, you know, but the base is the eight hour eating window. When I hit two, like upper and lower, starting with upper, just to, you know, say welcome back to the muscles leave a rest day in between back on program and sometimes if this wasn't at the end of the week maybe i could just continue on my uh, regular program like start you know the filler workout start out the week and then go back to uh, to the program and um, yeah you, you know i think i don't have to conclude I like all the information is in this video so now i'm gonna go up here maybe call someone enjoy myself a bit and then i'm just gonna chill the f out rest of the day recover so yeah guys 
leave a comment <laughs> what did you think please like all comments and likes help support the channel so it's very much appreciated you can send me a direct message on instagram to inquire about coaching i am taking on clients um i am working on the site and sorry i just need to gain access <laughs> uh, to be able to edit it it's a little strange as it is right now but yeah please subscribe for more content about fitness fasting losing weight building muscle self-improvement stoicism and mental health philosophy mindset it's a mindset guys do your fasting training and nutrition right okay guys peace